How do I feel? Hmm. Here's your story, let's begin. The world is fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before your eyes. So today I'm on a quest. This goes under the sink. It's part of the uh, hot water connection up to the faucet. And even though it's braided steel, it somehow sprung a leak right in here. So, I'm going to go to the True Value hardware store. I suspect this will be pretty common and won't be a problem. But um, I got a question. It's kind of bizarre. Um, they asked me to do a video on how I feel about living here. And, um, boy, that's a, t that's a tough one. To... It's easy for me to answer. I just don't know how that necessarily applies to other people. But we're going to give it a shot. How do I feel? How do I feel about living here? How do I feel? Maybe I can just say what the kids always say. Good. Well, there's a question that really throws me. How do I feel? I feel good. I'm here. I chose to be here. I'm liking it here. Um, it's a combination of things. Uh, basically, I've never been retired before. And being a workaholic from the age of 10, this is new and different and I'm enjoying it. How do I like being here as compared to anywhere else? Well, wherever you live, it's what you make of it. Now there's some places where you don't have to make so much of it because it already comes equipped with some things. The weather here is nice. I don't have to go out and shovel snow. How do I feel? How would you feel if this was your afternoon on February 14th? Such a beautiful day. People are nice here. The weather is nice here. It's uh, pretty easy to get around without a car, which is nice. Um, I don't know. How do I feel? Will it take a toll on me at some point? Possibly. And here would be the reason. Uh, my Spanish is horrible. I mean, I went down to town today, and everybody understood what I needed, what I was saying. I understood some of what they were saying, but even if I get pretty good at Spanish, and I probably will after, who knows, a couple of years, I can't imagine how long it'll be before it's conversational. Now, I'm going through a period of time where being alone is something new and unique. To, to my life, and right now I'm enjoying that. Now, in six months, a year, maybe I'll be going crazy. Maybe that'll just, uh, it'll be too much for me. Maybe I'm more social than I think I am. It's a possibility, I don't know. At, at this particular moment, I'm really enjoying this semi-solitude. But who knows, in a year, maybe, um, that'll be enough. And then what do I do? It's, it won't be the easiest thing. I can make friends now, but you can't have really good friends where you can discuss the nuances of, of your life and the universe and all of those things unless you have a fluent language ability kind of election crazy right now. Their big presidential election is coming up. They have an interesting system. There would be three people running and the, the top two will have a runoff. If one doesn't get over 50% then they have a runoff and that's what's going to happen. Uh, so I could see where that will be a problem for a lot of people. And I could see where they could come here and try to get into the gringo community for social, uh, just to be social. 
and maybe find out that that community is not so big as they thought and maybe those aren't the people that really float their boat. Your choices are limited and so could they find local friends? Yes, absolutely. But it will always have that limitation. I have a feeling that you could be here for 10 years and speak the language pretty well and still not have the depth of relationship that you would with somebody with your own language. Now, I may be completely wrong on that. I don't know. But um, how do I feel? I feel good. At this point in time, where I'm living, how I'm living, it's entirely my choice, and I'm enjoying that. Now, here we are. Yeah, look what we have here. 477. How about that? Will that change in the future? I don't know. And so I guess I'm telling you, how will you feel? You need to know, you need to know the possibility that you're going to run into some isolation. And you may not have a good way out of it. And I have a hunch that as many people come here, half of those people leave after the first year. And I have a hunch that a lot of that has to do with the isolation that they're going to feel. So, um, it isn't so much how I feel. I think the question might have been rooted in how do you feel, therefore I can equate how I will feel. And, and so, how are you going to feel? Only you will know that. Barley and potato. And coming here to visit for a week, two weeks, a month, it's not really going to tell you that, I don't think. Um, and so when you come here, I would just advise you not to burn your bridges from where you left. You know, um, you know keep that in mind. Don't come here, buy property, get totally uh, caught up here. You spent your life savings to set yourself up. And then you found out that when somebody asked you how you felt, you said, I feel lonely, I feel isolated, I wish I had never done this, now I'm stuck. So, I'm home after a brief lunch and a little stop at the store. And that's where it's going to go. So, I'll see you on the other side. So, be very careful about it. That this is a life decision you're making and don't make it lightly. Because anything that you can find here, you can find where you're from. Uh, I truly believe that. If it's cost of living, you can find that. If it's, if it's this beautiful scenery, you can find that. Now, you may not find a, a, a beautiful little town 7,000 feet up with no mosquitoes, but I think for the most part, you can fulfill what it is you're looking for wherever you're from. So. Uh, give it long and hard thought about making the move. And um, I have no idea if I was able to answer your question, but how do I feel? I feel good. Do, 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 do. You know you're cool.